what to do d5 rebels and welcome back here for your wednesday the 21st of june update green a sea of green across the board bitcoin is actually currently right now smashing against 30k 30k as you see we've touched it twice we touched it before um you know 30 minutes ago something like that and then we touched it just recently here as you can see this big cell wall here so far is holding up if we can smash through this our next stop is 35 and then really 31k is that next big cell wall up here and as you can see if i zoom out you can see how this has acted like we have just gone for the liquidity here we're going for it here we went for it here at 29,850, and then it's just kind of just disappearing all the way back to 730. so you know cell wall liquidity went towards it another one here went towards it going towards this one we're just gobbling up liquidity not a lot below us the landscape has changed we flipped bullish as we said if we cross that 28.3 make a higher high on the daily and that is what happens so let's talk next levels let's talk what we're uh what we're looking for next you know we've made it about 75 almost 80 90 percent i guess i would say up the breakout point that we called right taking the measure move from the channel we've been in since april put it at that breakout spot pretty much there on top of that not a lot of news going on chair powell did testify today didn't really say anything we'll get you kind of wrapped up there take a look at a few other news pieces check in with crypto twitter then we're going to talk about vwap today yesterday we talked about the simple moving average and the rsi the relative strength index talk about vwap a little bit today and how that can be used to find breakouts before they happen so we'll take a look at that get you caught up on the charts get you that sauce that key levels let's just jump right into it and for anyone curious where my position sits from yesterday's video I'm currently up 365 percent 113 thousand dollars is why you trade those channels and wait for those breakouts perfect example right up just bouncing through the channel eventually you're going to catch the breakout but you also won all those trades previously as well and like i said even if if i lost one two three or even half of them this makes up for them and then some but i didn't right i i i don't think i lost any of those trades but i did get a bad entry and get stomped out and then re-entered and then caught it um overall though i think in this channel going back to april i'm up about 4500 percent if i'm not mistaken it could be a little higher but uh, just a, a good example of, of catching those swings and just for transparency i want to show you where i'm currently at so I guess the big news so far today, Powell expects more Fed rate hikes as inflation fight has a long ways to go, he says. Long ways to go to get down to 2%. Powell said the labor market is still tight, though there are signs that conditions are loosening. Well above where it should be. So as usual, right? Discord, just a treasure trove of, treasure trove of information. Um, posted a kind of a chat GPT too long, didn't read version of what is going on with his speech today. So just, it's basically, look, look nothing new, right? Still committed to their dual mandate, significant slowdown, um, shown modest expansion recently, customer spending improved, housing sector remains weak and business fixed investment has been impacted by higher interest rates. Labor market tight, inflation is well above, like we said. FOMC has significantly tightened monetary policy by raising interest rates and reducing securities holding. <clears throat> they decided to maintain the last meeting, committed to bring inflation back down. Banking sector, he is saying, deemed sound and resilient, but recent bank failures highlight the need to address vulnerabilities. The Fed's actions are aimed at serving public mission. <clears throat> Another Fed speaker yesterday said that the commercial real estate sector to which 80 percent of is wrapped up in small banks regional banks could hurt those banks more possibly foreshadowing more bank failures in the future i would be remiss to not mention that i mean a good reason the logical reason for this pump is all these bitcoin ets people hopping in your time to front run institutions on bitcoin is running out as wisdom tree investment joins blackrock files for bitcoin etf this is one of several now they're reapplying for spot etf approval despite previous rejections everyone's piling on 
everyone's kind of just pricing into the market right now that BlackRock is going to be approved for their spot ETF. It'll be the first spot ETF, true spot ETF out there, opening the doors for many, many others to come on in. So just joining in, uh, you know, piling in. BlackRock raises hopes, as we said, for approval. Uh, this is bullish. I don't care what you say for the price of Bitcoin. You know, there's a lot of naysayers out there saying, you know, oh, BlackRock and Fidelity and all these people are piling in. Look, that's what you wanted, right? I mean, everyone was saying we need um, mass adoption. You're not going to get mass adoption without these guys piling in. Now, do I want them to take over? Absolutely not. Uh, but they need to be a player for adoption. Otherwise, you're just not going to get mass adoption. And, and I'm going to tell you this right now. If it's BlackRock that ends up pumping my bags, so be it. I'll laugh all the way to owning a private island, right? Um, it, it is what it is. It was bound to happen. The timing's impeccable with everything going on with the SEC targeting um, traditional crypto exchanges, right? You know, it, it is what it is right now. You know, it just roll with the punches, as we always say here. But Wisdom Tree, trillion dollar asset manager, filing for. Bitcoin ETF again on the heels of BlackRock and others. So just back to Discord, showing you something, th things I've posted since yesterday's video. This is Bitcoin's cumulative return by session. So US, right? Seems to be the best trading hours, followed by EU and then the Asian Pacific. I, th I thought this was interesting that the US trading hours still has the best return out there. Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys work during those hours, but that doesn't mean you can't make money outside of the US hours or even while you work, though I don't recommend it because you can't do proper TA, right? So what else did I post this morning? Let's let's uh let's let's dig into it. So weekly is starting to look bullish. You got green dots printed, the VWAP, I'm sorry, the RSI is starting to tack to the SMA, looking like it's going to crash above it when we get that Sunday close, unless something crazy happens. Money flow is still there on that weekly. I mean, obviously, we have a strong green weekly candle, right? One good day isn't a trend, though. Neither is two good days. Stay frosty out there and hope for the best. Weekly RSI approaching a crossover of the SMA, the simple moving average, which would be bullish. Daily time frame not oversold yet. We got plenty of room to kind of come up on the daily time frame here. Um, RSI is not oversold. We're not even, you know, cracking 60 barely on, on the daily time frame. We're well above all moving averages right now on that time frame. Four and smaller. We are getting a little bit hot and heavy, but that's okay because we still got plenty of room to go on the daily time frame. Um, BTC re resistance at 30K is building, watching to see how much bid liquidity moves in. Uh, mixed bag of whales orders early in the morning, just spitballing here, but we need money to come back in. More volume and whales still to buy. Charts are going to look like this if we don't, where we get that rounded top and a little bit of a correction, right? And then what happened? What happened earlier this morning? We saw that money flow starting to pick up. VWAP was dancing. We saw your book map liquidity at 30k we saw a clear ladder to get up to 30k uh, both on coinbase and binance had that strong 30k sell wall there cvds were pointing to the top side we saw money flow continuously coming in throughout the morning here this was like an hour later well cvd started picking up i mean it was just fun and then what happened right what happened well i'm gonna tell you what happened we smashed through that 30K. We smashed through that 35K. Now we're gonna be talking about a 31K Bitcoin. Let's check in with my spot play at the moment. 420%. Elon Musk would love that. $130,000 in the profit right now. This is not to break. This is to show you that I walk the walk. I do not just talk the talk. There we go. Here's the here's my order for you. I had the wrong screen up. Right? 130,000, 420% up. I take my trades. I believe in it so much. You know, you know, show me another influencer out here who's showing you what to do, showing you the channels, telling you where to take your entries, telling you if you're new, quit over leveraging yourself, right? Trying to trying to show you guys how to do this and then actually doing it. There's not too many influencers out there, not too many YouTube bros, not too many crypto Twitter people who are actually taking plays like this and winning, right? It's just not happening. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pimp our Discord, discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels. 
if you want daily treasure trove of content if you want calls and plays in the channels and more importantly than that if you want community if you want to hop on in and you want friends you want a small tight-knit group of people who are going to be there have your back bounce ideas off of one another hop on in best part of this unlike all the other discords out there we're not charging you for it it's free so give us a try if you don't like it hop on out but i promise you if you give us a try you will like it enough on that you do you at the end of the day let's get back into it so bitcoin ta time where do we go from here right well let's take a look again at book map so let's pull up book map here there we go so 31k is the next, lo next logical cell wall and you can see it's coming in hot and heavy here right you can see we bounced off of that 30k a few times before we finally cracked through it so we had to chip away at those orders slowly but surely the momentum the money flow you're starting to see FOMO a little bit coming in with those smaller TWAP plays time weighted average plays right um and and what's what's after 31k well 32k well 35k so that's just what the liquidity is telling me do I think we go to 35k today or tomorrow or even this week or next week I want to take it one level at a time you guys know me it's fun to speculate you know a million dollar Bitcoin by the end of the week but realistically let's just take it one level at a time the first major major level the first major thing that I want to happen is for us let's pull this up to erase Terra Luna I want us to cancel this out so this is where Terra Luna collapsed and what started the real downtrend if Terra Luna would have never collapsed as I've been saying we would have gotten a bounce off this line just like we got a bounce off of this line here right that was strong support unfortunately Do Kwon had to freaking do what Do Kwon did um so we need really a clean close above 31 above 32k I would say to completely erase the Terra Luna collapse we've done that with FTX as we all know we are past the FTX collapse levels by a lot uh, I mean, we're down there 16, 16, 5, 15, 8, something like that, right? Uh, so really, we need to erase that. And look, we are getting close. We are getting close. I mean, you can see this dotted line here. That's currently where we sit at 3640 Bitcoin. That's a solid move. We have officially gotten right to the measured move on the breakout. We are now, we haven't made a higher high. So to do that, we're looking at for 31K. We're looking to smash through 31K right there. So let's go ahead and turn that blue. So that's going to be our next resistance target, obviously. I mean, taking a look at book map, it's confluence there. Let's turn that line blue for resistance. So we need to smash through that. We smash through that. Then we can start talking 32K, 32.5, 33K. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but there's a lot of air here. You know, we can go back here and look at uh, some of this stuff starts about 33k but really 31k we need to smash through that's gonna be the next biggest level could pose to be a risk I mean we're already up eight nine percent today do we go up higher I don't know we haven't ranged out yet we have two strong days back to back we haven't had a red four hour candle since this breakout right uh, I mean 31k is just sitting there for the picking though I mean that's the next real big level that I am looking to tackle right now it's going to be tough to find entries right now let's look at the one minute chart right unless you're using small small leverage it's going to be tough to find entries so you can see these candles kind of get a little bit spicy with some of the wicks on them and they're turning up turning down so let's take some measurements of these candles here I mean these are one percent candles if you're doing 20 times leverage you're going to get wicked out of these easily one two three four five times max leverage on a good entry um maybe write it up to 31k and see what happens if you haven't already taken a play um you know it can get a little bit hairy right here I mean I'm already in a long a lot of the guys in discord are already in longs they found entries um you know well well down here so just be careful out there and let's not forget we are 315 days before the next having couple that with institutions jumping on board right now so to put this in perspective so Bitcoin's growth was two times before the first halving, three times before the second halving, and then 0.1 before the third halving. So Bitcoin now on trajectory to do the same. You know, it looks like we have a little bit of a fall off after each halving, with the exception of really the first one. 
um but also you know bear markets stuff like that is a thing but i i think this is going to propel us into i mean you want to talk hundred thousand hundred fifty thousand 150 dollar bitcoin i think you know into and after the next halving that is definitely a possibility especially with these institutions like blackrock fidelity charles schwab all these guys hopping in so keep this in the back of your mind as well and just to throw caution out there to you guys this isn't going to go up forever at some point we are going to get a pullback at some point you're going to see a red candle on the four hour we can't only have as much as i want it to be because i'm in my long right now at some point we are going to get a pullback where does that happen well historically that's happened pretty much where we're at we had that rounded top here we got a pretty big pullback um, I don't know that we get that now with everything going on in the market. Do we get hung up here and start ranging a little bit? I'm going to tell you, if I wasn't in a play right now, it'd be hard for me to get into a play unless it was a low leverage play. I'm in a 20 times leverage play right now. If I was going to enter the market right now, I probably don't even know that I would do five times. I probably, maybe I would five times, three times, something like that. You got to remember, even at two times leverage, you are doubling your money. You're doubling the amount of money you're using. Um, so liquidations can come up quick because of that or your stop losses can be hit because of that but we're at a pretty key level we're at a pivotal level right now we haven't made a higher high yet on our recent you know since really the terra luna collapse you know we made that high on april 15th on friday april 15th and it's just been down we all know about this channel i've been beating this channel into the ground i've been talking about it forever we got that breakout to the upside so we need a range we need a healthy range at this point people to accumulate make that next decision or let's just go to 32 33 34k but 31k i think we'll probably hang up for a little bit uh we did hit it back in april but well, that's the, the most key level i'm looking at right now and then it's 32k right 35 3500 30,500 kind of thrown into the mix there but at some point be ready for it you're going to start seeing these whales take profits um, you know, we're getting kind of an impasse right now. We're seeing the smaller orders, the market orders, 100K plus selling right now. Whales are starting to sell a little bit. Smaller orders aren't, spot orders. Smaller fry are, this is still 10K plus. Believe it or not, you know, even to be a small fry, you need to be 10K plus orders, but they're, they're buying right now. Everyone else selling. And this is just on the most recent five minute, 15 minute candle actually on this one. So, we need to watch this. We need to know that people are going to start taking profits at 30K historically. That's what's happened when we've hit 30K. Let's we'll have to watch it. I, you know, I wish I had something more solid to tell you, but just watch currently where we're at. Look for us to start ranging out. Look for a little bit of a pullback. I'm not saying it's happening now. Uh, watch that money flow, though. Watch the money flow and the VWAP, which is going to segue us into this kind of next segment here. Here's how VWAP can be coupled with RSI to let you know where the market's going to break, right? So you can see we started the VWAP. This is Market Cipher B. This is an indicator that is paid. You can get a free version that is called VMC Cipher B. So if you go up to your indicators, you type in VMC Cipher B with divergences. Uh, that's the free one. Market Cipher is a paid version. But you can see this is just kind of like RSI. When you go above the zero line, this is the volume weighted average profile. So this is kind of like where people find value, right? So when it's above the zero line, people are finding value, money's flowing into the market, people are buying. And this typically happens before you see price moving up. So you can see this started moving up. I mean, really it started moving up on the 14th, which was a big red candle, big where we tapped into the bottom of the channel here. And then it started kind of breaking up. So you can see the breakout and it was a strong break to the upside, right? Now we got hung up at the top of the channel there for a day or two, two days it looks like, but we were still well into it. Momentum was still building. Money flow was starting to come up. Stokes and RSI were coming up. And then what else was the RSI doing, right? We broke above the SMA, the simple moving average. This is just all confluence of this breakout, this momentum was building, money is flowing in. We're getting ahead of ourselves on the RSI. We're getting red dots or green dots printed. I mean, it's just so much confluence that was saying, hey, we're, we're starting to build momentum. Not only that, but if you look at the whale orders, if we go to a daily time frame, let's go to 24 one day. <clears throat> I mean, look what happened. You saw a, a steep 
hiccup in the well orders. Wells woke up. They were sitting on the sidelines. And then all of a sudden, boom, well orders started spiking. They started buying um, BlackRock ETF. I mean, all this stuff was just, it was just prime for a breakout. It was a perfect time for a breakout. We knew what was going to happen. We knew this was going to break to the upside. 80% of the time it does. The odds were in our favor for it to break up, and it did. So VWAP can let you know sometimes ahead of time when you're going to get a break to the upside. Uh, VWAP is this yellow line on Cypher B. Again, free indicator, great indicator to add to your arsenal. It is many indicators in one. I re recommend it for everyone. You got your Stokes, your RSIs, your VWAP. You got your money flow. Uh, you have your momentum waves here you can find your divergences right so we are actually printing a bullish divergence right now on the daily time frame boom there you go you're printing bullish divergence on the on the vwap you're printing bullish divergences everywhere rsi stokes anybody i mean it's just bullish all around at some point we're going to cool a little bit we still have room so rsi on the daily time frame really i don't consider us over bought until about that kind of you start getting overbought 80 to 90 i mean 100 you're really overbought so we're not quite there yet still still room to come up though starting to get at some resistance levels so vwap great tool i look at it as where is that volume weighted is it weighted into buy orders or is it weighted into sell orders spot futures where are we at right now vwap is telling me rsi is telling me everything else is telling me we still have momentum behind us caution at some point, we're going to get a drawback. Is it 35? Is it this 30K level? Is it 31K? Keep watching that money flow. Keep watching that VWAP. Keep watching those RSIs on the smaller time frame, right? So if you go to this hourly time frame, you can see we're oversold. On, on, you know, we're at um, 80 on the RSI. You know, we're start, starting to get oversold on smaller time frames. But that doesn't mean we're going to come down because you still have room to go up on the larger time frames on the four hour on the 12 on the 16 on the 22 on the daily for sure on the weekly right we got plenty of room to come up on the weekly so continue to watch this though one hour time frame rsi above the simple moving average if you start to dip below watch for a, a pullback hourly time frame possible pullbacks potential on the vwap if we come down right now we're not but if we dip to the downside i wouldn't expect a huge dip to the downside unless it starts coming down pretty pretty heavy like you see sharp spikes down kind of like this or like this or like this right then you can kind of um get a little uh concerned so here's the thing about vwap right is you need those sharp spikes those sharp spikes are sell-offs those sharp spikes where people start kind of crashing out their order cashing out their orders uh selling so to speak when you kind of get little side ticks ups like this, that's nothing really to be concerned about. It's these sharp spikes, these almost straight lines down and straight lines back up though. So that was a bounce down and a bounce up. Those are what you want to look for is those strong crashes uh, down. And sometimes those are hard to spot. So use other indicators as confluence, use your RSI as confluence, use your book map as confluence. But I have a whole series on this. It's going to be linked at the end of this video. Feel free to start at video one and work your way through it. It's very basic information is to get you a starting point for trading is by no means a watch these 14 videos in your next per trader, but it's to get your feet in the door. That's pretty much it. What I got today watching this 31 K level guys. Hope you're having fun. Hope your bags are pumping. All crypto is pumping right now. Everything is up across the board. Appreciate you guys for watching. That's all I got today. I'll be in discord all day posting whatever I see. Hop on in again, discord.gg slash rebels. Give us a try, and we'll see you guys later.